Hello everyone, this is Aegis and I have for you the first game between Duckload Raw or White Raw and TLO in the ESL Cup. I'm not sure about the details of this tournament, but it is my first time casting pro games. I usually do cast for the Collegiate Star League. Uh, Collegiate Star League is, uh, you can see the, more information about that at cstarleague.com. But we do have here two pro players, I'm sure everyone does know, White Raw and TLO. Liquid TLO spawning here as the Blue Terran player. And we do have uh, White Raw spawning as the Red Protoss here on Scrap Station. So we'll see what these two players do decide to do. We do have these close air positions uh, on Scrap Station. So we do might see some Banshee play, might see some Void Ray play. Um, Void Rays used to be very popular. Uh, with Protoss, we'll see if that does come back to life. We also do have uh, TLO doing what all Liquid players do, gathering their SCVs to mine on several mineral patches, making it, I think, 7% more efficient is what some people say. Uh, White Raw going to continue to chrono boost his workers here. Should be getting his gateway out on 12. Yes, there we go, a gateway out on 12. He'll be able to get an earlier Cybernetics cord in comparison to some other players who do like to get their gateway on 13 or 14. Uh, TLO going to move out with a scouting worker here. Uh, again, this is Scrap Station, and this is this was played on the new patch as well. So we do see that the replay bar is, uh, I guess, burrowable. It does know how to burrow, so it did get an upgrade here. Uh, we have the SCV moving its way out on the map. White, White Raw has not really made any attempts to scout yet. We'll see when he does decide to do that. His gas is also coming up. TLO already starting to mine gas. Oh, you, oh wow. Hey, you can click on it and it'll tell you how many harvesters are in there. I did not know that. Uh, so maybe that's part of the new patch as well. Uh, so I guess that's something handy to know. You can see exactly how many harvesters are mining your gas. We do have uh, TLO getting his orbital command up at a standard time. Uh, White Raw also getting his cybernetics core, no doubt going to be getting the warp gate research. Uh, some people mention it as the best upgrade in the, in the entire game. Uh, TLO is going to start working on his factory here. We do have the factory going down for TLO. Uh, so we'll see if he does decide to do the 111 build or if, uh, or what is it? What does he call it? He calls it the Dust Destiny Cloud Fist build. A uh, husky calls it the calls it that. We'll see if he does does decide to do that. And he is gonna chrono boost something real soon. Uh, yeah. So we do have a TLO continuing to get Marines out of this. Uh, he's gonna prevent himself from getting supply caps. Always a good thing. Duckload getting his uh, second. Uh, assimilator up so he is going to be teching we'll see what tech path he decides to go as soon as he gets rid of the scouting scv he clearly does have enough minerals to do the teching that he needs so we'll see what he decides to throw down immediately after and we do have the robotics facility coming up tlo is getting up his starport let me open production tab for you so that you can see everything we do have a uh, hellions coming out for uh, tlo as well um, he's going to continue building supply depots here by his gas. A lot of players do uh, like to do that there so that they can raise them in case of any drops here. But it's less common with Protoss to have any drops happen. Uh, White Rock getting his warp gate research almost complete is going to build a pylon up here to scout. To be able to scout for any incoming attacks, we'll be able to see those just a little bit earlier. TLO going to be securing the Zelnaga Watchtower with the Hellion. Also have the first probe scouting out for a White Raw. And it does, it is going to get picked off by the Hellion here. So we do have uh, TLO getting a medevac out of his starport. And we do have the Marines chilling here. So we might see a drop here. Yes, there there must be a drop there. The, the Marines are can't be there doing nothing. So and uh, there's just enough Marines for that drop. We do have an Observer coming out. And it will see this drop if it'll, it will cross paths with that medevac. The medevac does have eight marines here. We also have three hellions moving up the front. Uh, TLO scanning. White Raw does know about the drop, so he's going to want to move back there and to stop those marines from being able to attack. The hellions moving in also going to start roasting away at the uh, zealots. The medevac is going to pick up those marines and drop them back out here again. White Raw looking terribly thin on the units there. Only two stalkers out against all of these marines as well as the hellions working on the probe line. 
He's finally getting his warp gates out. We also do have the Immortal here. Gonna start pounding away on the Hellion as well as the Marines. That Stalker is still out here. Uh, the Marines are microing back. The probes are being pulled off the line to fight as well. The Hellion still has 18 health left. And the Immortal and the Azela is going to be able to chase the units out of here. TLO not going to risk any damage, any further damage. Going to pick up all of his units and draw, and uh, bring them back. We do have White Rog. Uh, just Chrono Boosting Probes once again does want to replenish that as quickly as possible. Uh, we do have his spotting pylon here as well. Uh, White Raw is looking quite behind on units. We also have TLO getting the, his armory as well as his first Thor completing right here. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do with that. He could go for another push. His Hellion is moving up here. Uh, White Raw spotting that and is going to send his Stalker out there to clean that up. Does not want to have any more Hellion harass there. He does have some units back here now to prevent any drops from happening. Um, TLO is working on his second Thor. Uh, and White Raw is getting his Twilight Council up as well. We'll see what he decides to do. He has plenty of gas available. Um, and we also have the 250mm strike cannons coming up, as well as a warp prism. What strange play here. Duck Load is getting his Dark Shrine, uh, spending all of the, that gas. And we do have a Thor drop in the back, TLO dropping a Thor off. Um, White Raw is going to have to try to ward this off. He does have an Immortal out, so it is doing plenty of damage there. Oh, and the Thord gets picked up with just a few health left, and the Medivac taking a bunch of hits there. Going to back out with 20 HP. We also do have uh, Ducklow to get warping on some Zalots here. Going to pick those up with his Warp Prism. Um, might be going for a drop here as well. TLO has his second Thor out and is working. Is going to finish up the 250mm Strike Cannons. Um, this medevac not getting repaired, but we do have a duck load moving out with this war prism here. He does have all four zealots, and we also have the uh, dark shrine finishing up here. So uh, I don't know if TLO knows about the dark shrine. Let's take a look at his vision. He does not know about the dark shrine. We have the zealots being dropped off here, and the war prism is going to evacuate out of there. The zealots are going to be able to do a little bit of damage here. It's going to prevent the SCVs from mining for a few seconds. It's going to, uh, the SCVs milling around here. Uh, Duckload moving back with his war prism does not want to get that count out of position. Uh, Duckload only has these three units in his base. Um, he also has a probe down here. He may be gearing up to take this gold expansion. Uh, not sure about that. We do have, uh, three Dark Templar here. Uh, TLO is starting to throw down those missile turrets. Uh, he's scanning for those Dark Templar. The Dark Templar do get scanned. Double scan there, wasting a... Uh, that's worth about uh, 600 minerals, I, I hear, is what people say. I'm not sure about the exact status of that. We do have a White Raw grabbing this a gold expansion here. Uh, White Raw does seem to be quite far behind. Yes, he is 3,000 minerals behind. He's trying to harass his way to for into the wind TLO is going to try to secure his natural expansion and is also moving out uh, to take out the rocks with a couple of marines that's going to take a while we do have another dark templar here working on the tech lab that's attached to the starport a raven is coming out the dark templar is trying to run away there is going to run by this missile turret and its life span is now limited and it does get taken out there White Raw is uh, so far behind right now. If we t continue looking at production, we also do have the Templar Archives coming up. He does know that there are Thors out. Uh, Thors are quite good against storms. Uh, Thors do have 400 HP. We do have Duckload moving his units up to the front. He does know that this attack is coming. He has a probe spotting for this. We also have the Gold Expansion now completing. Uh, Duckload really does need that extra income. TLO has secured his natural expansion, so he w is uh, quite safe uh, in, in terms of minerals. He is also running a little bit dry in his main, but this attack could be quite deadly. White Raw needs to be able to warp in more units here. He, he needs to get those zealots out on the field, um, but this this push is going to be quite strong. It even has the Raven to throw down at the auto turrets. Uh, GG calls White Raw, so we are moving into game two between TLO and White Raw. This is from the ESL, so I'll br be bringing to you game two right away.